everything I ate at McDonald's in Singapore. You guys, they had so many interesting things I've never seen before, like a strawberry shortcake McFlurry. So you already know I ordered way too much food and look at how thick this Hershey's Frappuccino was. It literally tasted like a Hershey's bar and it wasn't icy at all. It was actually really creamy. The whipped cream definitely wasn't as good as like a Starbucks whipped cream, but that's okay because look at this strawberry shortcake McFlurry. So it had crunchy Oreos, this really thick, sweet strawberry sauce that had like chunky bits of strawberries in it. And I don't know how, but it literally tasted like strawberry shortcake. And then I saw that they had fried chicken. So I got the spicy version, of course, and it was actually really well seasoned. Like my mouth got all tingly and the chicken was pretty moist too. But they also had this like sweet chili sauce that you could add. And oh my gosh, a game changer, sugary and spicy, delicious. And then I had to try two different sandwiches. So this Hawaiian grilled chicken burger had ham and pineapples and this spicy mayo and the pineapple was really juicy. The mayo definitely added some flavor, but McDonald's grilled chicken just isn't my favorite. I did like the ham pineapple combo though. And look, this one had a dark malt bun. It was this smoky barbecue chicken burger that had barbecue chipotle sauce and bacon and cheese. And I definitely prefer the fried chicken. And that's all for today. Everything I ate at McDonald's in Australia. It's my first day in Australia and I had to go to Macca's. And you guys, they had jalapeno poppers and hash browns all day. I got so many things. Like, look at this Cadbury caramel milk hokey pokey McFlurry. So it's these like caramelized white chocolate shavings with pieces of crunchy honeycomb and caramel sauce. It's so sweet and creamy and the honeycomb kind of gives like a butterfinger vibe and just look at these jalapeno poppers so they came with salsa they were really crispy on the outside and then soft and warm and a little spicy inside definitely could have had more heat but the salsa actually added a lot of spice and oh my gosh i haven't had a mcdonald's hash brown in forever and it's everything i remember crispy and crunchy so buttery and of course you have to add tomato sauce don't worry i would never call it ketchup in australia and then i also tried this el maco burger which had salsa and sour sour cream inside. It had two patties and cheese and a tomato. And again, the salsa adds so much flavor. Honestly, one of the best McDonald's burgers I've ever had. And I saw they had these frozen Fanta drinks. So I got a raspberry flavored one that was so sweet, like gas station slushy vibes in the best way. And finally, I tried these chicken McBites that kind of looks like popcorn chicken, but they were basically the same texture as like regular McNuggets. But the breading did have a little bit more of like a peppery seasoning. And that's all for today eating whatever I want for a full day in Singapore. For breakfast, I found these massive bautza. This is literally the biggest one I've ever seen. And it was so soft. It was filled with chicken and an egg and this really savory sweet sauce that just like soaks into that fluffy steamed bread. And then I got this cute little char siu bao that had the sugary barbecue pork filling and they're literally so soft. They just melt in your mouth. And I've been dying to try laksa and you can actually pick whatever noodles you want. So I asked the lady what her favorite were and she gave me these like spaghetti shaped rice noodles that have this really firm al dente texture. They really let the flavors in that sour spicy broth come through and it also had fried dumplings with pork and tofu and it was all just so flavorful. And then I wanted something sweet so I headed to a bakery because I had to find this famous pandan chiffon cake so it's this like gorgeous green fluffy cake. It had cream inside and coconut on top and the sugary syrup drizzled all over. It kind of had a vanilla flavor but not too sweet. And then for dinner I was so excited to try wonton mi. It's these springy like egg noodles with this rich dark sauce and crunchy bok choy and of course wontons that are so soft and they have that wonderful juicy pork filling and finally for dessert i saw that mcdonald's had mud pie mcflurries which is basically an oreo mcflurry with fudge swirled in it wow it was so chocolatey and crunchy and soft and creamy absolutely delicious and that is all for today only eating at Burger King for a full day in Indonesia. They had so many interesting things I've never seen before. I had to get this Nasi King box, which was like this fried chicken covered in melty mozzarella and sweet chili sauce. And it was piping hot. The chicken was actually so moist and crispy and cheesy and spicy. And then it was filled with this fluffy, cheesy rice. This might be one of the best things I've ever had at Burger King. I also got these cheese fries that didn't look super exciting. And oh my gosh, they were sweet. I was not expecting the cheese sauce to be sweet. The fries were actually really fresh though and had a great crunch and they had these Milo floats. I've never had Milo before and it's surprisingly not too sweet. Just nice and chocolatey and then it had this creamy vanilla ice cream that reminded me of McDonald's soft serve. Anyway, then I had to come back later because there were still so many things I wanted to try. They had so many different burger options and a double chocolate pie. Look at how shiny it was. It was filled with this warm, thick chocolate and the crust was so light and crispy. It reminded me of like a crunchy lava cake and then I had to try two different burgers because I couldn't decide 
inside, and this is a bulgogi whopper. It had this sweet, spicy sauce and crunchy onions and pickles, and the meat quality was so good. I was actually blown away. It also had the perfect amount of heat, and just look at how cheesy this mozzarella burger was. It had mozzarella and cheddar, and there's just something so good about like a simple cheeseburger, you know? And that's all for today. Everything I ate for $10 in Indonesia. Today I went to this massive mall with a food court like a mile long and I started off with this $2 nasi jampur, which came with so many different things. It had mie goreng that had that delicious sweet soy flavor. And look at this thick chili sauce. I put it on the fried chicken that was super crispy and it was so spicy. And it also came with an egg and fried tofu covered in this sweet kind of smoky sauce. And I got this big plate of crispy tofu for a dollar. It kind of reminded me of stinky tofu with that really unique like springy texture. And because I bought two dishes, she gave me this iced cappuccino for free. It was so sweet and chocolatey and thick. Thick. There were also so many different Japanese restaurants everywhere. So I went to this udon spot that had carbonara udon. I was so curious. You could also pick from all these different tempura fried like appetizers. So I got a bunch of stuff. This one was like a fried ball of carrots and onions and bean sprouts. It was super light and only 50 cents. And this is the best shrimp tempura I've ever had. The shrimp was so meaty and tender and it had the most amazing like crispy crunch, but it wasn't oily at all. And I also tried this like buttery fried ball filled with this soft creamy custard. I'm honestly not sure what it was but it was so rich and just look at this udon carbonara oh my gosh the noodles were so thick it was super cheesy and the beef sausage was like juicy and savory and finally i saw this lady selling these massive cream puffs so i got a taro one it was so light and crunchy the taro was really fluffy and it had that like vanilla flavor and altogether i spent nine dollars and 97 cents and that's all for today a day in the life of a singer on a luxury cruise ship. Merry Christmas, everyone! So this is my second Christmas away from home, which can be a little tough, but one of the guests actually gave the whole cast Christmas presents so we'd have something to open this morning. She's literally the sweetest person ever, and then I had to go to work, but I wanted to show you guys how decked out our ship is for Christmas. We even had Santa come, and you could take pictures with him. And they actually gave all the crew presents, which was so nice. Um, They gave us coasters for some reason. I don't know, but then I headed to the theater for rehearsal. And part of our set was this plate of Christmas cookies, but they brought too many, so I stole a brownie one. They are always so fudgy and rich. And then after rehearsal, I went to the mess for dinner, which is also completely decked out for Christmas. Like, look at the size of this gingerbread house. And then after dinner, we performed a Christmas show that the whole cast has been rehearsing for weeks. And here's a little clip. And then after the Christmas show, we could all finally relax and we got together and did a secret Santa. It was so fun. I got so many snacks and that's all for today. Only eating noodles for a full day in Bali. First up, I went to this gorgeous mall where the food court was a bunch of street food stalls. And I started off with chicken lomi, which are these chewy egg noodles and this really thick broth that's so savory and like gooey. It's such a fun texture. It had yummy mushrooms and spicy peppers and shredded chicken. It was super hearty. And then later for lunch, I saw this lady selling bakso, which is this meatball noodle soup. And she gave me this really thick, bright chili sauce and warned me that it was super spicy. It had these super thin rice vermicelli noodles and she was not lying about the chili sauce wow did it have a kick my mouth was on fire for like 30 minutes but the best part was the bakso they're these like springy meatballs that have this amazing really bouncy texture and it also had this fried tofu that soaked up the broth and was scalding hot and finally for dinner i walked down the street to this super cute restaurant it was like so trendy and i had to try some mi goreng i am just obsessed with that sweet like salty soy flavor and it had these big chunks of egg and crunchy veggies and it all went so well with the fried noodles like you can't stop eating it and finally i got this gorgeous seafood pad thai that was the spiciest pad thai i've ever had it was also so sweet and nutty and i love those thick chewy egg noodles delicious and that's all for today letting my Australian friend decide everything I eat for a full day. So first up, Caitlin told me that I had to go to this famous hot dog stand called Harry's where they sell these meat pies. I asked the guy to make me his favorite one and he made me this beef pie and mash. It was covered in gravy and the beef was so tender. Oh my gosh. And the mashed potatoes were so creamy and then the crust was so flaky and like buttery. And then I got their famous hot dog that had mushy peas and chili and hot sauce and the bun is so soft and fluffy and then the sausage was really smoky. Anyway, then she 
she told me I had to head to the beach for some fish and chips and look at this gorgeous view. They gave me the most massive piece of fried fish and it was so freaking crunchy and crispy and the fish was super flaky. And this aioli is the best I've ever had. It's so thick, really sweet. And then she told me to get chicken salt on the fries, which added a lot of flavor. And the tomato sauce is way different than ketchup. It's so sour. And finally, she said I had to go to Dough Heads, which is this incredible donut shop. I tried this pavlova donut with this really smooth passion fruit filling and this crunchy meringue on top and the donut was so fluffy and light and this one was heavy it was filled with honeycomb custard it had this thick chocolate ganache on top and a honey biscuit crumble super sweet and the custard was so creamy and i was most excited for this cookie dough one the brown sugar buttercream was so light and the chocolate chip cookie dough was really soft incredible and that's all for today only eating at pubs for a full day in Australia. Today we were docked in Sydney and I started off at the oldest pub in the city. I've been getting a lot of comments that I have to try chicken parm and they gave me such a big piece. It was covered in the sweet, tangy, rich tomato sauce and so much melty cheese. It was also piping hot. Like I probably should have waited a minute, but oh my gosh, it was super crunchy and crispy and the chicken was so moist. And of course I had to get fish and chips and it was even bigger than the one I had in Newcastle. It was so rich and the fish was like super tender and it had that perfect crunch. It went so well with the creamy, herby tartar sauce and also battered fries are like my favorite thing ever. They're so light and crispy, literal perfection. Then later I walked down the street to another pub and they had kangaroo rump on the menu, like under the steak section. So I had to try it. It came with this thick, shiny mushroom sauce that was really sweet, kind of like chicken marsala. But anyway, the kangaroo was actually delicious, like rich, not too chewy, kind of smoky. And finally, I tried the classic salt and pepper squid. I added a little more pepper and lemon juice and oh my gosh, it was so freaking soft. It just like melted in my mouth. And the breading was really light. It was super fresh, just delicious. And it also came with this coleslaw that was also so good. It was like crunchy, kind of refreshing. Wow, I was so full. And that's all for today only eating at Hungry Jack's for a full day. In Australia, Burger King is called Hungry Jack's and they have the coolest menu. They have a whole section with these barista made coffee drinks like this caramel fudge iced coffee. Oh my gosh, it was so sweet. But the whipped cream was so good. It tasted like Starbucks whipped cream. Anyway, of course I ordered so much food and look at this sticky date pudding. Honestly, this is one of the best fast food desserts I've ever had. It was so soft. It just melted in my mouth like a warm brownie. Kind of caramely and so rich. They also have these battered onion rings with sweet and sour sauce and they were fire like really light and crispy and not oily at all oh and they also had this thick spicy sauce that was really like tangy and sweet and then i got the spicy fried chicken sandwich the bun was so shiny and they actually gave me like a huge piece of chicken it wasn't super spicy but then i dipped it in the spicy sauce and that was a game changer like crispy and creamy and the bun was really soft anyway then i came back later for a frozen fanta drink you can add popping bubbles they have like a bunch of different flavors i got a blueberry frozen and Fanta with fruit bowl jelly belly bursties. And I feel like the juicy bubbles actually go really well with like the thick, sweet slushy. And this tropical whopper was like the size of my head. It had a pineapple and bacon and two patties and barbecue sauce. And then the bun was toasted. It was a lot of food. And finally, I tried their popcorn chicken with the spicy sauce because I'm obsessed. And it was maybe like a little better quality than McDonald's nuggets. And that's all for today.